Hi guys, and a welcome to the Family Fudge, and a welcome to another week of school lunch inspiration, this time with a Christmas twist. Okay guys, so this week I'm going to share a lot of Christmas themed lunches that are easy to make. And this video is also in collaboration with the channel House of Maze. Now if you haven't checked out their channel before, I'll link it down below. But they're awesome family vloggers who also do themed lunches as well. So they're going to be posting their Christmas themed lunch video on Monday. So don't forget to check that out. Like I said, I will link it down below. Now two more things before we get started. I've had a lot of requests to do shout outs on these videos and I think that's an awesome idea. So if you're the first commenter on this video, I'm gonna give you a shout out on next week's video. And finally, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already because this week I'm doing Christmas lunches and I'm also doing Christmas lunches next week. So lots of fun Christmas ideas. Now let's get started. Good morning guys. And happy Monday. Right now I have all the kids with me and they are super excited about today's lunch, right guys? Yeah! What do you think? It looks really cool. Yeah. How did you make this? Well, yeah. today's PB&J day, right? Yeah. yeah. So this is just a regular PB&J, except I didn't use strawberry jam today. Instead I used this sugar plum jam. Since it's Christmas time, right? Yeah. But this really, this really just tastes like regular jam. It doesn't taste weird at all. I think you guys are gonna like it. Okay. Then I just used my Christmas tree cookie cutters to cut out the sandwich. Okay. I got these at Walmart. They're really inexpensive. Now, of course, I do save the extra pieces of bread because my toddler Griffin loves to eat them. Now to make this extra fun, I used a little yellow sandwich pick to keep the sandwich together. And it kind of looks like a star on top of the tree, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now over here, I have one little treat. This is a snowball cookie. And then over here, I have some carrot sticks. Now these look really fun like french fries, but they're actually just carrot sticks. And I will be throwing in some ranch as well. And it'll probably go right here. Now over in this corner, I have something different that the kids have never tried before, but I've tried it and it's really good. It's this eggnog flavored Greek yogurt. And I find this at Trader Joe's. It tastes just like eggnog. It's actually really good. But one whole container is a little bit too much for one kid. So I went ahead and divided it up just like this. Now to make it extra fun for Christmas, I just put a few Christmas sprinkles on top. Does that look really good? Yeah. yeah. It's really good yogurt. I hope you guys like it. Now in our little zipper container today, I have some cheese crackers. And these are actually shaped like Christmas trees. I got these at Trader Joe's. And they're actually really tasty, but unfortunately, they're a little bit small. And a lot of them come broken in the, pot, in the package. So, but they taste good. So that's in there. Now also in today's lunch, I'm trying something new, and that's including this little Christmas joke. You can find so many of these free printables on Pinterest, and I'll go ahead and leave a link to where you can find this specific one. But I went ahead and just printed out a bunch of them, and each day I'll just stick one in the kids' lunches. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my lids on. I'm gonna put an ice pack in there today because of the yogurt. I'm gonna remember to send them with a spoon today. And they're also gonna be taking just their water bottles as well. Does it look good, you guys? Yeah! All right, let's, let's head out the door. Okay, time to see what they ate. I can see that Mackenzie and Jackson and Lily did really well today. Lily has just a little bit of her sandwich left, but overall, they did really well. What'd you guys think today? It was really good. It was really good. What was your favorite part? The sandwich. The sandwich? Did you like, did you like that new jam? Yeah. The sugar it, plum jam? Yeah, it just, just tastes like regular Like jam. regular, right? But I have to say, this yogurt does not smell very good right now because yeah. it's kind of old and it's been in there for a while. But I thought it tasted good. What did you guys think? I liked it. Was good. It. Yeah? Really good. All right, well. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, guys, welcome to Tuesday. Tuesdays are always very crazy. We have to head out the door early, and so I literally just threw, threw this together in like five minutes. So I started with a green tortilla, which is perfect for the holidays. And then I just added some garden vegetable cream cheese. The kids love that. I added some rotisserie chicken slices and some cheddar cheese. And then I rolled it up. And then I stuck that in the fridge while I got everything else ready. Because those sandwiches are much easier to cut if you chill it. So then I went ahead and added some green um, snap peas and some green grapes. So today's lunch is very green and red for Christmas. 
And just to make it fun, I put a little um, holiday pick in with the grapes for the kids to pick them up just like that. And for our little sandwiches, I went ahead and sliced them and then I arranged them in the shape of our Christmas tree. Isn't that cute, you guys? Yeah! I think so. So for our treat today, I threw in one little cinnamon star. These cookies come from Trader Joe's and they are so good. They are a cookie with almond, hazelnut, walnuts, and oh dang it, this has nuts. Okay, well you can't take this today. I'll have to give them something else because today they're going to a place with no nuts. So I'm gonna put in instead, Orange yummy fruits. Instead, why don't we do this? Okay. Okay, yeah. these are organic gummy fruits and there's no nuts. Oh, I almost forgot that you can't have nuts today. Okay, crisis averted. I'm also gonna be sending a go-gurt today and then the kids will also be taking their water. So, I need to get my lids on here, get my ice pack in there, and then we gotta run. And we'll see you guys when we get back. Okay guys, we are back home now from a very busy day. The kids went to school, they had their co-op today, and they also had gymnastics as well. Oh yes, and while I waited for them in their class, I painted my nails. So they're a little bit more Christmas looking. I know some of you will probably notice the nails. But anyway, here's what they ate today. Overall, it looks like they did pretty good. I see that both uh, Mackenzie and Lily, they did not eat their yogurt tube, but that's okay. I can stick these back in the fridge and I think that they'll be fine. They can eat those later. Um, they really liked their gummies. These were the uh, fruit snacks from Cost, no. These are from Target and they're little Christmas shapes. So they really like those. I see there's a few snap peas left in here and in there as well, but they ate their uh, sandwich, their little rolled up sandwich. So overall, I'd say it's pretty good today. Now tomorrow is gonna be Jackson's birthday and we are eating lunch at home. So I'm looking forward to that lunch and we'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon guys and welcome to Wednesday. Now today is actually Jackson's sixth birthday. Say hi. I have him helping me and I also have Mackenzie. Hi. So today we're having lunch at home and it's a very special birthday lunch. But I didn't want to put too much food here because we are having a birthday party in just a few hours. So here's what we made today. So first off I made some quesadillas, but I also made those Christmas themed by using my Christmas tree cookie cutter. And I just used some green spinach tortillas. They don't actually taste like spinach so don't worry about that. They're just a nice green color for Christmas. I'm also giving the kids a little salami wrapped pickle. I made these for a video recently and I had some left over. So it's kind of like a little appetizer for the birthday. For our vegetables, I cut out some cucumbers and I made these really cute little Christmas tree shapes. That might be one of my favorites. Uh -huh. Yeah, you think you're gonna like those? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I made sure to save the outside parts of the cucumbers so I can make a yummy salad for myself. And I am gonna go ahead and put a little scoop of my homemade ranch to go with the cucumber, because I know you guys like the ranch, don't you? Yeah. For our fruit today, I'm just gonna add some little orange smiles. Nice and easy, I know the kids love them. Perfect for this time of year. And then we also have a very special birthday treat that Jackson actually helped me make. Last night I made some eggnog cupcakes. So I made a regular yellow cake mix, but instead of using milk, I used eggnog. And, and then it I, is also Rudolph. That's right. Now for my cupcake, I also added extra cinnamon and some rum extract. So it really tastes like eggnog. And then this afternoon, Jackson helped me to decorate them. We frosted them with some chocolate frosting, a little cookie on there with a red candy for his nose. We used two candy eyes. These are little sprinkles you can get at the grocery store. And then we also added two pretzels for the horns and little raisinets for the ears. Isn't that cute? What do you guys think? It looks cool. really cool. Look at that. That looks like a very fun Christmas but fun birthday lunch. You guys ready to dig in? Yeah. Okay, now make sure you eat your fruits and vegetables before you eat your treat, okay? Okay. okay. Okay guys, it's after lunch now. Let's see how the kids did. Jackson, what'd you think? It was good. It was a good birthday lunch? Mm -hmm. What was your favorite part? Maybe the oranges. The oranges? Yeah, I really like those oranges too. What did you think, Mackenzie? It was really good. So Mackenzie did a really good job. She liked, she liked everything. And Jackson did pretty good. He did leave one little cucumber and he wasn't very interested in this at all. Did you even try it? <laughs> you did try it, but you just don't... You don't like pickles? Uh huh. And then Lily did okay. She ate her. She ate pretty much everything. There's a few bites of her uh, quesadilla left, 
but she also wasn't really interested in this little appetizer thing. So overall, they did pretty good. See you tomorrow. Happy birthday, Jackson. Good morning, guys, and happy Thursday. Now, today's lunch came out super cute. I know the kids are going to love it. You can probably tell that today we sort of have a Lunchable going on with some crackers and meat and cheese. Now these crackers are actually the Snowflake Ritz crackers that you can get at Christmas time. And they are so cute, little snowflakes. And I also rolled up several pieces of salami to go along with that. And to make it really fun, I just put a little Christmas pig in there to keep them together. Now for our cheese, I'm actually using Monterey Jack cheese today, and I use my Snowflake cookie cutter to cut them out. Now over here we have something really fun. This is actually made of sugar snap peas, and on the top I have a little star-shaped bell pepper. So I just took my sugar snap peas and arranged them largest to smallest, and I did trim off the ends just a bit. Then I stuck them on my plastic pick from the Dollar Tree. And then I tried my best to cut out a star shape from my yellow pepper and I stuck it on top. Isn't that cute? I love how that turned out. Over in this corner, I have some fruit. I just took a pear and I cut it with my Christmas tree cookie cutter. And I added a little pick in there as well. For snack today, I'm also sending some soft baked drizzled gingerbread oat bars. Now I've never actually tried these before but they sound really tasty. These are from Trader Joe's and they're surprisingly gluten free as well. So even my husband can eat these. I'm also remembering to send our little Christmas joke. Now I found these on littlepageturners.com and they were free to print out. I'll go ahead and link them down below if I can remember. But this little joke says, what's a child's favorite king at Christmas? and it says a stocking. So I know the kids will get a kick out of those little jokes. I have a different one for each child. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my lids on. I will put an ice pack in here today. The kids also will be taking their water because we're still out of juice, and then we'll be heading out the door. Kids, do you wanna see your lunch? Yeah! Come see. Whoa! Doesn't that look so fun? Yeah! Yeah. yeah. Okay, I want you to eat it all. Okay. Wait, we gotta put the things on. And we'll see you when we get back. Okay, okay guys, so we're back home now and I have Jackson and Mackenzie and Lily here helping me say hi. Hi. So what'd you think of lunch today? It was really good. But it looks like a couple of you didn't like your bell pepper, right? Yeah. You didn't like that part? So Mackenzie ate pretty much everything except for her bell pepper star. Jackson ate like everything. Good job, Jack. You really liked it. What was your favorite part? Maybe the bell pepper. The, you, that was your favorite part? Really? Well, you can eat Kenzie's and you can eat Lily's. Lily ate pretty much everything. She did leave a little piece of salami and a few peas and her star. What did you guys think of the gingerbread bar? It was really good. Yeah, it was good. You liked it? What did you think, Lily? Good. I gave one to Griffin and he loved it. I thought that they were pretty good too. So overall, very good job today, guys. Thanks, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. And happy Friday. Happy Friday. So right now, I'm just finishing up making the lunches. I'm gonna get the water into the oatmeal. Today, I'm sending this gingerbread flavored oatmeal in the thermoses. So I went ahead and warmed up the thermoses first with some hot boiling water. Then I poured that water out, and now I'm getting my oatmeal in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add my water, I'm gonna stir it up and then get the lid on. This gingerbread oatmeal smells so good. Okay, so to go along with our oatmeal today, I'm sticking with a red and green themed for Christmas. Over here I have some raw broccoli with some cherry tomatoes with a little bit of ranch right here for dipping. And then on this side I have some green grapes and some red pomegranate seeds. Do you like pomegranates? Yep. Yeah, the kids love them, they can't get enough. And I've included a little candy cane pick just for fun. Then over here, I've made a hard boiled egg and I use my star mold to make it into a star. And then I'm just gonna give each kid half of an egg because a whole egg is just a little bit too much for them. I am remembering to put a Christmas napkin, a cute little snowman. And I'm also going to be putting a little joke today. I found these on a littledelightful.com if you'd like to check those out. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those up and put them in there. But I am sending one more thing today in these cute little bags. I found these really cute Christmas bags at Walmart. 
And even though they're plastic, you definitely could reuse these as well. And inside these little bags, I have these little snacks. And these are kind of like crackers, a cross between a cracker and a chip. And they're in the shape of a really cute little bow tie for a snowman. And these ones are cheese flavored. So they're very tasty. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick those in there today. I need to get all of my ice packs in and my lids. Then we'll be headed out the door. And we'll see you when we get back. Okay, time to see what they ate. I've got Mackenzie with me. Hi. And I've got Lily with me. Hi. So overall, it looks like they did really well today. Let's check Mackenzie's. You ate all of your fruits and your vegetables. Did you eat your tomato or did you give it to Jackson? I ate it. Did you like it? Yeah. You did? What about your egg? I love it. Yeah, I put a little bit. That was bit the of, first thing I ate. Yeah, I put a little bit of salt on there. Now let's check your oatmeal. Oh, you ate it all. Was it good? Yeah. You like the gingerbread kind? Yeah. Did it taste like a cookie? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Did you want to read your joke to us? Yeah. What does yours say? It says, "What do reindeer hang on their Christmas trees?" Answer: Ornaments. Ornaments because they're re they're reindeer. That's funny. <laughs> okay, so let's look at Jackson's. He ate all of his fruits and vegetables, he ate his egg. Now I know he really loved the pomegranates the most, I would say. He ate all of his oatmeal, and so yeah, he did pretty good. Do you want to read his joke? Yep. What is the best present in the world? Answer, a broken drum, you can't, you just can't beat it. <laughs> Very funny. Then we have Lily's, let's check her oatmeal. <gasps> you ate all of your oatmeal? Good job, you would like that. And you ate your fruits and your vegetables. You did a really good job, Lily. Did you try a tomato? Uh, no, you didn't try it? That's okay. That's okay. And it looks like everyone ate pretty much all of their little bow tie crackers. I tried these, these were really good. Did you want to read hers? Yeah. Okay. What is green covered in tinsel and goes ribbit ribbit? A mistletoe. A mistletoe. It's kind of like mistletoe. <laughs> yeah. And we'll see you next week. Merry Christmas. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Now, don't forget to go check out the House of Maze and their Christmas lunch video on Monday. I can't wait to see what she comes up with. Now, if you'd like to see last week's video, you can do that by clicking on the link up here. And if you'd like to see yesterday's video from me, you can click on the link down there. And to subscribe, you can do that by hitting my face right down there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.